Good afternoon, friends. What is going on? Welcome back to our homestead. What is the one thing that you spend the most time doing on your homestead? For us, it is by far, no contest, weeding the garden. And behind me is the brand new garden plot on the north side of our property. And I do not want to spend all my time coming over here and weeding it. So today I've got something that is going to help you out. I'm excited to use it here on our property and I just found out about this product. So let's talk about what that is. Now I've been using a version of this for years and that is Professional Weed Barrier. This is completely different than the landscape fabric at Home Depot. This is heavyweight polypropylene and it is UV treated. Some of this fabric in my garden is almost six years old. And I was recently introduced to a company that customizes this DeWitt Sunbelt fabric and it will save you hours upon hours upon hours of weeding in your garden. Now, as far as I know, this is the only company that customizes this fabric like this. And let me show you what that is. So the company is called Farmer's Friend and they custom burn these whole patterns into the fabric. They have four different patterns for different types of vegetables. Now, you and I know that different types of vegetables grow different sizes and they need different spacing. And that's exactly what these fabric pieces help you to do is proper spacing and utilizing the most efficient way to plant in your garden while keeping out the weeds. And in each package of fabric, they send you landscape staples to hold it down with. Now, I know some of you may have tried to burn holes in this fabric yourself, but that is incredibly messy. You need to make yourself a jig ahead of time with the proper spacing, and it can be a pain. This company has come up with a perfect process for perfect spacing every single time, and these holes are super clean. As I mentioned, the fabric comes in four patterns. This is the four row pattern, the three row, the two row, and the one row. The one row spacing is at 18 inches, as is the two row. The three row is spaced at 10 inches, and the four row is spaced at eight inches. Let me talk about what vegetables these are all good for. So your four row spacing is good for beets and leaf lettuces, kind of like Salanova lettuces, and also garlic. I say you can use it for onions, but I find the spacing a little bit big for onions, unless they are just giant bulb onions. That might work with this. The three row spacing is good for Swiss chard, kale, collards, head lettuces, bok choy, and Chinese cabbage. You can also put in Brussels sprouts, but things like broccoli will need a little bit more space. So let's move on to the next one. So this two row will be good for things like zucchinis, tomatoes, peppers, anything like that that needs a little bit more space, including that broccoli. You can also put things like squash in here, cucumbers, and small cabbages. Now the single row 18 spacing is going to be perfect for all of the same things I just mentioned, but you can also add the very large varieties of cabbage. That needs more space, so that will work well with the single row 18 inch. So I want to mention also that the fabric comes in lengths of either 50 feet or 300 feet. So I don't have a giant farm where I need 300 foot of, you know, single row 18. But these 50 footers are gonna be absolutely perfect for what I have going on here. Now, many of you might have gardens that are smaller, like my other garden that you've seen on a million videos, and you're gonna to have to cut the fabric. So if you're gonna do that, you're gonna need a nice pair of scissors, but you will also need that torch to burn the edge and seal up the edge because if you don't, then it's going to fray because it is a woven product. All these fibers are woven together. So if you just cut the end, it's gonna kind of fall apart. Get yourself a torch or even a lighter, that will work as well. I'll leave the link to Farmer's Friend and these fabrics in the description below. I think these are gonna be a game changer for everybody for their gardens. So before you get the fabric permanently fixed to the ground for your season, you're gonna to need to do two things. One of those is fertilize. Get whatever fertilizer you need into the soil before laying it down. The second is thinking about irrigation. So if you're going to do drip tape, most people put their drip tape underneath the fabric. 
And so you're gonna need to run this drip tape first before you lay your fabric down. Now keep in mind, if you're going to do the drip tape on top of the fabric or you're going to do overhead irrigation, which we probably are in this area, only 80% of that water is going to permeate this fabric. So you might need to adjust the amount of watering that you're going to do with that in mind. Now I want to talk about something very important. This weed barrier fabric is susceptible to some grasses, and particularly rhizomaceous grass. Those grasses in my area, like fescue, like Bermuda, and stuff like that, can grow over the top of it and grab onto it because it is woven. If you have an area where you've got grasses like that or some other type of weed that can grab onto it, you're going to need to surround your garden with an impermeable layer. What we use is just a black plastic. This can be a silage tarp, which is up to 10 mil thick. I believe this one is just five mil, but it does the job. It shades the light out completely from that grass and kills off everything underneath it. And it is wide enough so nothing will grow over the top. And I will also put a link to those types of silage tarps that we use in the description below the video. Having landscape staples in each package of the weed barrier fabric is an awesome bonus. Another cool bonus is there's free shipping on that. I'm so excited to have this quick plant fabric this year for the garden. It's gonna save me a bunch of time and I've got a lot of projects on my plate. Again, we'll link them below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me in the comment section below. Now go click on this video right here, which is our whole series on how to prune fruit trees and grapes. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.